Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. My name is Miss Laura. Can you tell me your name? Ooh, I'm so happy that you made it back this morning. Let's start off our morning with a song. And I have my friend here to help us sing. Are you ready? It goes like this. Good morning, good morning. It's a sunshine kind of day. Come join Miss Laura for some learning and some play. Will we sing a song? Of course we will. Make our brains strong. Very super strong. Then come along. Yes, come on friends, for some learning and some play. Now let me put my friend away and we'll go through our schedule of the day. All right, so. Today we have our emotional check-in. Now this week we're being feeling superheroes and we're gonna guess the feelings of our friends that sent in pictures. And our weekly investigation is around Black History Month. And for the rest of the week, we're gonna be presenting symbols of people that have persevered and that have contributed to our culture. I'm so excited to share our first person with you. And then we're going to sing a goodbye song. Does that sound like a good plan? Okay, so I have a clue about who this person is. So for our clue, I'm going to do a word right here. So let's see our word. Okay, let's see. Letter D. Okay. Letter R, letter C, letter A. I'm going to stand up so I can reach over and grab the letter A. And letter M. What could that be? I'm going to say the word really slow and then really fast so you can try to guess what it is. Are you ready? It's dream. Dream, dream, what is it? Dream, that's right. The person I'm gonna introduce you to had a dream. That person is Martin Luther King. Now here's a picture of him. And boys and girls, I know we forgot to do our feeling superhero, but we'll come back to that, don't worry. Here's a picture of Dr. Martin Luther King. And he is actually someone who was born here in the United States in a state called Atlanta. Now remember, I'm showing you this map, but our world is actually a sphere. This is pretty flat here. We live in a country called the United States. And what's our city's name? Fresno, that's right. We're way over here. And Atlanta's somewhere over here. Now, when he was born, it was a time when, remember I told you there was a lot of segregation or separation. People with different skin colors really weren't allowed to do things together. They had different restrooms, different places in restaurants, different places in buses. They couldn't even go to the same schools. And so what Dr. Martin Luther King thought and dreamed of is a world where people were judged by not the color of their skin, but the content of their character, meaning what's on the inside. Just like our egg experiment. Remember, we're all the same inside. So he did a lot of what's called peaceful protesting. So he would organize marches and he would boycott things that didn't include people of color. So here he is in some marches and giving famous speeches that inspired people. 
He is honored all throughout the United States. So he's honored by street names. So there's even a street where I live here in Fresno that's named Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue. He was on a postage stamp, which is a very big deal. And they have marches on his birthday. It's a national holiday. You might not have school on that day. And we can also honor him too. We can honor him by seeing when someone is being bullied and being feeling superheroes and helping them out. So look, here's our friend being bullied and a superhero coming in to help. Now, boys and girls, before we go to our project, our very special friend, Miss Southern, sent in a video that has something to do with Miss Martin Luther King and Black History Month. So let's watch that together. Well, hello there, friends. My name is Miss Southern. Can you say hi, Miss Southern? Before we get started, let's put on our thinking caps. Lock them in and type in ready to learn. You know, this month is February and during February, we celebrate Black History Month. I love Black History Month because we get to celebrate being kind and awesome and all the African Americans who have done great things in history. I love being kind. What about you? I have a friend I want to introduce you to. Well, hi there, Zenobia. How are you? I'm sad. Oh, no, you're sad? Yeah. Well, why are you sad? People were making fun of me, saying me things. Friends were saying mean things to you? They wouldn't let you play? Yeah. Oh, no. Well, can I tell you a story to make you feel better? Sure, yeah. I read a book about a young girl named Ruby Bridges, and I think she was your age. And your age, too. She went to a school where people really didn't like her because of the way that she looked. And it made her feel sad. How would you feel if someone didn't like you because of the way that you look and they said mean things to you? Sad. Yeah, you would feel sad. But you know what? Ruby held her head up high. She took some belly breaths. And she was brave. She was so brave. Can you be brave? Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? You can be like Ruby Bridges. Whenever someone does something or says something mean to you, take a deep breath, hold your head up high, and know who you are. Wow, does that make you feel better? Yeah, thank you, Miss Sunny. I'm so glad. Well, we always want to speak life over ourselves, so let's do that. Let's speak life over ourselves. Repeat after me. Say, I'm brave. I'm brave. I'm smart. I'm smart. And no one can tell me different. And no one can tell me when different. When you look at me. When you look at me. See the future. See the future. Wow, friends. You're amazing. Well, until next time, I can't wait to learn so much more with you about Black History Month. See you later. Thank you, Miss Southern. I love her affirmations. Okay, boys and girls, today in our project place, we're gonna do another fun experiment with color. We're going to explore skin color. So the materials that you'll need for this project are white, black, brown, red, and yellow paint. Now, I got my paint at the place where everything costs a dollar, but if you don't have these kinds of paints handy, you can actually use food coloring and mix them together to make these colors. And then you'll need scissors and some glue. I have other materials here just to kind of show you what I'm gonna do. So, and a paintbrush, of course. So I have the colors that I mentioned right here on my board, brown, black, red, white, and yellow. Now with these five colors, we can make any skin color that we see around. So I want you to take a look at your skin color. What two colors do you think you might need to make it? For me, my skin color is like almost like a cream coffee. So I'm going to dip my paintbrush in a little bit of white and then in a little bit of brown. And I'm going to see if I can make my skin color here. Ooh, that looks a little bit close. If I want to make it a little whiter, I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. Now, boys and girls, when we talk about skin color, we have to remember that it used to be used to separate people. And nowadays, it, we use it and we celebrate our different skin colors. So that kind of matches mine. 
Now what if I wanted to make another skin color? I might use yellow, maybe a little bit of brown, and dip it in a little black. I wonder what color that's going to make. Ooh, a darker skin color. Look at that, that's a darker brown. Have you ever seen somebody that, that is that color? Like a little darker brown? Maybe I can do a little darker color here. So what you can do is continue to mix the five colors that I showed you until you get as many skin colors as you can make. So I've made a light brown, a darker brown, kind of a medium brown here. Now I did this project earlier on a piece of paper. So you can see that I have all different kinds of skin colors that I made. I think I made over 50 skin colors. Do you think you can make more? Now what we want this to be is a symbol of how we celebrate diversity and appreciate the dif different skin colors that we see around. So remember I told you that the heart was a symbol for love? So right when we have our paper, we can do a couple of things. We can either trace a heart on here with a marker and then cut out a heart, or you can do what I'm going to do next, which is have the heart show the different colors. So to do that, I'm gonna take a red piece of paper and fold it in half like this. See? And then I'm going to take my scissors right here. Open, shut, open, shut. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. And then I'm gonna make a heart. So notice I'm using my helper hand. To make a heart, I kind of go around like this, like a smile, and then bring it back like this just like that. See, I've cut out my heart here, and I'm gonna set that aside maybe for another project. But what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm going to set it out so that it's a heart and glue it down so that what shows in between the heart is all of my beautiful skin colors. So I have my glue here. Now the thing with glue is you have to be very careful. You don't wanna get a lot of glue. So I used to sing my, a song to my kiddos and said, dot, dot, not a lot, dot, dot, not a lot. And here I'm gonna glue it down. Here, and you can hang this up on your wall. And as you do, I want you to have that conversation with your parents about how they value skin color and what skin color means in our community. It's a tough conversation, but it's worthwhile. So I hope that you try this, boys and girls. And if you do, I encourage you to send me a picture of you trying it here at this address below. Okay, let's quickly sing our goodbye song. And if we don't make it to the end, then I'll just whisper and we'll sing. Ready? A, B, see you later. D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya. H, I have to go now. J, K, bye-bye now, L, M, N, O, I had a good time, P, Q, are you going to miss me, S, T, you are my best friend, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, boys and girls, come back tomorrow. We'll be doing more fun activities around Black History Month. Till then, goodbye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.